Hi friends. Welcome to my new episode. Today I thought of making some lovely breakfast. So for that I chose two things. One is a basic parsi poro and the other thing is a basic parsi puri. Parsi poro is nothing but a masala omelet. And a curry is like a scrambled egg which is made with chilies, tomatoes, ginger garlic and onions. First we shall start with the omelet. For the omelet we make a four egg omelet. For that we require a small onion finely chopped, two green chilies nicely chopped, half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, two to three spoons of freshly chopped coriander and I was very lucky to get some mangoes, raw mango. So I have taken a small piece of raw mango and chopped it nicely. With this we will be having half a teaspoon of haldi in it, half a teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of Karam masala or our dhana jiru, whatever you have. So first we will whisk the eggs. Then to this we shall add, as I said, half a teaspoon. of haldi, half a teaspoon of chili powder. I have the dana jeera so I am adding half a teaspoon of dana jeera instead of garam masala. All these masalas we mix together with the egg nicely and then to this we give the ginger garlic paste, the green chilies the onions, the mango and the coriander inside. To this we add little salt to taste. Just mix it nicely so that all the masala and all the ingredients mix well with the egg. Take a frying pan, put a little oil, so I put a little butter to it to enhance the taste of the egg and switch on the hot plate or your stove to full and let the butter melt. When the butter melts, you add everything inside first and just try to spread it a little. Cover the pan completely and lower the heat to less than half and let it cook for a little while. After some time, say about 3, three to 4 minutes, open the lid and see the omelette is almost done from the bottom. So what we do is we try and turn the whole omelet upside down. Now we open it and our poro is done. This is a nice two serving. We close our hot plate and we shall plate it. 
Some people like to add tomato to it, capsicums, ham and bacon to it. So go ahead and make it the way you like it. And this frying pan, we shall again add a little oil and a little butter in order to make our akuri. Now in the same pan, I have taken the oil and butter. Here we have four eggs. We will be using the same masalas over here. We will be adding half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala or dana jiru as I said. <coughs> here we have about three full spoons of uh, chopped coriander. These are two green chilies. This is a nice big onion chopped finely, a nice big tomato chopped finely and ginger garlic paste and of course salt to taste. First we shall add in this oil and butter which I have heated up, the chilies and the onion. Fry them nicely. This onion we shall be making little pink and not very dark brown. Now that it is nicely glazed and a little pink, what we will do is add the masalas to it. That is half a teaspoon of haldi powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder. It depends if you like it very spicy, take more chili. If you don't like spicy, take less chili. And another half a teaspoon of garam masala or dhana jiru, whatever you have in hand. To this we shall add one full teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and mix it a little. After this we add our tomatoes and cook them a little before adding the egg to it and little bit of salt to taste. For the akuri, you always put a little dash of sugar to cut the sourness of the tomato. Cook a little till the tomatoes are in the cook and then add all the coriander inside. Lower the temperature to half before adding the eggs. Gradually first turn it and then try turning it little vigorously so that everything mixes before the egg is done. We call it akuri. The Turks cook it similar and they call it melamel. But when they make it, they keep it absolutely soft. The egg is still running. We shall not do that. At this point, we switch off the hot plate because the hot plate still retains heat. Freshly chopped coriander. So friends, here we have the beautiful akuri. And here we have the poro, the typical Parsi breakfast. So, the next time you want to have a nice breakfast, go ahead 
and make this basic parsi puro as I said and that mango which was added gives a little bitter taste to it if you don't have a mango doesn't matter avoid it so till the next time that we meet enjoy cooking the way I enjoy it bye bye au revoir and off we desire